We don't worry about the things of this life. We might, we might be busy with other things, but we must be most busy with the things of God because it is the busyness of this world that can overtake all of those things that matter the most, which is Christ and his return. So when he comes, we want to be prepared. I remember hearing this one story, and it actually happened right after 9-11. Um, and there was a gentleman who was working for the Philadelphia subway station. So right after 9-11, there were actually some other terrorist attacks, if you remember, in Spain for their subway. And so there's this gentleman, he's working for the Philadelphia subway station, and as he's walking down the tracks one day, he sees this device. It's like a, a signaling device. And he's like, oh no, this is like something that is for, the, somebody's going to try and bomb the subway station. So they get everybody together and they get, they get the police involved and they're, they're checking this thing out and, and all the workers are brought in and then finally one of the mechanics on the line comes forward and he goes, everybody, there's nothing to be afraid of here. It was just me. I put the signaling device up. They're like, what was it for? He goes, well, he goes, I would go and I would sleep in my office. And then when my boss walked by, it would signal me that he was coming. So I would get up and pretend like I'm working. Like, genius, it's genius. Right. But we can't do that, Christians. You can't set up a signaling device. We, we can see the signs around us. We know that Christ's return is coming. We know that he will come. We know that it is true because he tells us exactly all of the things that are going to happen, but we don't know the date and time. He says no one knows the date and time except for the Father in heaven.